group of high school students comes up with what could be life-saving technology. We'll tell you about Project Riptide and how drones could be patrolling beaches. And it is a new way to keep your children safer at the beach. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Keith Coons. Think about it. Drones could actually make the perfect lifeguard, providing aerial views to help swimmers who are drowning. News 8's Jason Newton joins us live in New Haven tonight with all the details. Jason. Yeah, Keith, and right now I'm still wearing a jacket, but before you know it, the beaches and the waters around Connecticut are going to be filled with people. One Connecticut group is working on a project that could potentially save lives, all thanks to some well-equipped drone technology. That buzzing propeller may not sound pleasant, but it could potentially save lives out on the water this summer. This drone is equipped with a life preserver that can be deployed with the press of a button. The idea behind this is simply to provide temporary lo uh, flotation until the life-saving professional can get to the swimmer in trouble. With the help of some enterprising high school students from King Low Hayward and Stanford, Bill Piedra invented Project Riptide, which is this life-saving drone accessory that can fly over a swimmer in trouble. A volunteer or a secondary member uh, can get this flotation device out to a person in the water 500 yards away in less than 30 seconds. And as demonstrated in this promotional video, the drone drops a life preserver that automatically inflates when it touches water. Their product isn't supposed to replace lifeguards, but meant to give the professionals another tool to use in a rescue. That two minutes of extra time to keep somebody's head above water before a professional can get to them. And for high school senior Connor Murphy, it's allowed him an opportunity to get hands-on experience with engineering and programming. I think this is an awesome experience. I think I'm learning a ton on like how the actual, like um, you could say, like maybe inventing process or engineering process actually works. And there already has been demand for this product as they've already made some sales and they've also got phone calls from interested lifeguards all the way down to the outer banks of North Carolina. They've even gotten some international phone calls from those who patrol the beaches way down in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. That's the very latest live in New Haven tonight. Jason Newton, News 8.